In the 2013 general election, women made minimal gains. No female candidate won a governor or senator seat. Out of the 290 MP positions, only 14 women were elected. At that time, the Supreme Court ruled that the two-thirds gender representation could be implemented progressively and asked the National Assembly to enact an appropriate law to provide a framework to achieve this goal. That parliament, however, failed. But in this year's election, there was a high probability that female governors and senators would be elected as the number of female contenders grew due to the attention given to the gender bill and the awareness of the issue increased by community-based organizations. National Assembly Deputy Speaker Joyce Laboso became the first woman governor in Bomet after being declared winner with 176,545 votes. Her rival, incumbent Governor Isaac Ruto of Chama Chama Shinani, had 86,452 votes. Laboso had exuded confidence that she will clinch the seat for the Jubilee Party and make history as one of the first women to be a county chief. <laughs> In Kirinyaga County, former cabinet secretary Anwe Guru of Jubilee is leading with over 159,000 votes, while NAC Kenya leader Martha Karoa, also a former cabinet minister, so far garnered 120,341 votes. <laughs> Why Guru and Karua battled it out for the governor post in the county that has over 300,000 registered voters and is position 23 in the list of counties with the most voters. Why Guru took the biggest share of Gishugu and Mwea votes while Ndia was split between the two. In Kitui County, former Lands Cabinet Secretary Charity Ngilu seems to have braved Wiper Party. Gilu, who also served in President Mwaikibaki's government, was basking in glory of surmounting great political odds to clinch the Kitui gubernatorial seat. The veteran politician beat two political giants, Kitui Senator David Musila and incumbent Julius Malombe, after opening a wide vote lead. Gilu will now revive her career that suffered a setback after being sacked from the cabinet. On the other hand, Susan Kihika, Margaret Kamar, and Fatuma Adan are female candidates leading in the Nakuru, Wasingishu, and Isiolo Senate race. And it was sweet victory for Sophia Abdinur of PDR. She becomes the first woman from Northeastern to be elected to parliament. She won the Ijara constituency with 6,001 votes after edging out her closest rival incumbent Ahmed Ibrahim Abbas with nearly 300 votes. And in Samburu County, nominated Senator Naisula Lesuda made history by becoming the first female MP. Naisula clinched the Samburu West parliamentary seat after beating Lati Leleti in a hotline contested election. The former journalist garnered 14,561 votes, while her competitor managed 13,971 votes. Rosongoi, NTV.